Troy is a, a football player. He was the star quarterback at his school, Riverdale. Um, Riverside, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Riverside, and he um, was the star quarterback, and he had a scholarship to a school, and he lost it after he he lost it after he tried to do a keg flip one night and broke both of his arms. Um, so now he has to go to community college to try and basically find his way without you know losing losing that fact that he was like a star and he was going big places and now that's all gone. So he has to be a normal person like the rest of us. That scene is great. Like it's so like you're learning so much about everyone. Like at all at the same time, it's like bam, 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 bam. But like it's funny. Like it's just like it's fine. Like that's 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 the mark of a good writer in a good show. Like of just like I, I feel like you know, especially with pilot episodes, it's so hard to get out exposition about like this character was in the army and his name's Dave, but don't call him that because you know like there's all this stuff. And I feel like they did a like you know Dan did a really good job and the Russos did a really good job of shooting it in a way of just like, oh, joke, 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 joke. Oh, I know everybody now. Like it's it's a really great scene, you know, and and it and it's and it's also our home now. You know, that's that study group, that study room is where we meet. So like it, it really gets you used to the place and it really sets up the characters. It's really beautiful. They did a really good job. I feel like Everybody knows everybody on this thing. I mean, like, everybody knows the over talkative, talkative, like, awkward dude that would be on bed. You know, like, I think everybody knows, like, the the lunkhead, uh, um, jerk kind of like uh, conceited dude. Moi. Um, everybody knows, like, the, the know it all, you know, Allison. Everybody knows, like, the sweet motherly, you know, aunt, you know, Yvette, you know, everybody knows the smooth, cool guy. You know, Joel and the, you know, lecherous uncle type <laughs> um, Chevy. Um, I, I, I think like all those groups are people that everybody knows. But in general, like I think the what um, Joel is doing, which is just like having to hang out with these people he would never hang out with. Like he was a lawyer, a successful lawyer. So like I, having to hang out with these people is like something that everybody it can relate to, I think, whether it be your family or when you're at work or anything you have to deal with people every day that you don't want to deal with but at the end of the day they are, they're all you have you know i think that's something that's very you know dan did a good job of just like that's the heart of the show is that m more now more than ever i think in the world you have to look around and say like we're more connected than we've ever been and there seems to be more fighting than there's ever been and like i think this show is a really good way, like a microcosm to look at that and say, you know, the more we're different, the more we're the same, you know. I studied uh, playwriting and television writing at New York University for, um, for four years. Um, and I also studied playwriting at, uh, at DeKalb School of the Arts in Atlanta before that. Um, I was really into writing plays and, and acting in them and stuff like that. And then um, then I, I wrote on, I got the, the, the big break to write on 30 Rock uh, for three years, right, right when it started. Um, that was like, I, I, to this day, like people are like, how'd you get it? And I'm like, ah, I don't know, like I really don't. Um, I was very lucky, you know, and they, they really took good care of me there. And then, um, I, yeah, I ended up here. And I, I studied a lot at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater too with comedy and such for like, for years and years, I guess, like I guess about, I don't know, five years, six years, you know. Yeah, I mean, it was never like, oh, I gotta keep writing so I could, hopefully they'll give me a shot. You know, I think it was just like, I just loved both of them a lot. I always thought they were great. I never really, like on 30 Rock, I was having so much fun writing. And then like at night, whenever I could get the chance, if we weren't like working late, you know, working on the script, I was like, oh, I'll do some stand up or, oh, I'll, you know, try and do this improv thing that's on late at night just because it's it's nice to have that balance it's nice to see both sides because I feel like I have a lot more respect you know and a lot I understand like the workflow flow more f from th being on 30 Rock and then doing the show because it's like you know the, each joke is finely tuned and it, you want to get you want to make sure that writer is being heard and you know so you go to them and ask them you know, like this is this what you had in mind and stuff like that so like it's yeah it's I think it's give doing both really gives you a, a great view of the whole pie, I suppose.
Give me some more time in a dream.